airport information alpha one two five three zulu wing com visibility one zero sky clear below one two thousand temperature two niner two point two five altimeter three zero one three The M600 stands out with an intelligently designed, robust, linearly tapered wing accompanied by stylized wingtips. This new design not only has impressive ramp appeal, but directly contributes to the M600's notable range of nearly 1,500 nautical miles, a useful load of 2,400 pounds, and a max speed of 274 knots. I'm Mike Murphy, aircraft sales with Piper Aircraft Incorporated in beautiful Vero Beach, Florida. Behind me is the newly certified M600 powered by the 600 horsepower PT6-42A turboprop engine, elegantly appointed six-place cabin class executive interior, and the Garmin G3000 touchscreen avionics. Beverage Tower, good afternoon, November 401, Mike Mike. Number 10 sequence via far to the southeast. Hold short, one, two, right. We are VFR southeast of Vero Beach with the beautiful Treasure Coast to our west. The first time I flew the M600, my initial question was the G3000's ease of use. And I can tell you that with a short couple familiarity courses, the operating system is incredibly intuitive. The two GTC 570's touchscreens essentially serve as your home base for the multitude of display options for the MFD and two PFDs. Icon identified touchscreen displays pictorially represent everything I need for my flight. Map settings, inputting flight plans, populating charts on my PFD, overlaying weather radar are just a few functions that the GTC 570 can control. The G3000 encompasses some practical display functions on the three screens as well. Specifically, the 6040 split screen mode, which is controlled by soft keys on the left PFD or right PFD. And they allow me to configure and optimize the screen exactly how I want it depending on my phase of flight. This aircraft is equipped with some pretty advanced safety features as well. One of the really amazing aerodynamic advancements due to the aircraft's clean sheet design wing is its impressive VMO of 250 knots. Now, preventing the exceedance of that 250 mark, the aircraft is equipped with an overspeed recovery mode system. I'm at 12,500 feet, and I'm going to dip the nose down and accelerate. Once I reach past 250, the max speed is going to highlight, and the autopilot will engage in an overspeed mode to reduce the pitch of the aircraft, thereby reducing its speed. An ingenious feature with the M600 is the automatic level mode, or what we at Piper call the blue button. If I or the co-pilot are at a loss of situational awareness, or the aircraft is in an unusual attitude, simply pushing the blue button will engage the flight director and autopilot and return the aircraft to straight and level flight. Pretty cool feature. Another cool feature about the G3000 and the M600 is ESP, or Enhanced Stability Protection. This feature serves as a passive barrier when the autopilot is disengaged and prevents spins, stalls, or loss of control conditions. Essentially, when I exceed a desired bank angle, the flight controls will apply a slight opposing force to nudge me back to the desired condition. The function can easily be overridden by the CWS, or Control Wheel Steering, button on the yoke, but is a great feature that keeps the M600 and reminds the pilot to stay in the desired flight envelope. Underspeed protection or USP is a flight director function that provides low speed awareness and prevents the aircraft from stalling. The autopilot must be engaged for USP to function. If the flight director is in a non-altitude critical mode or up high, the airplane pitches down to maintain an airspeed above the stall warning speed. If the flight director is in an altitude critical mode that's low, the airplane may decelerate to the stall warning and then after the stall warning, the airplane rolls wings level and pitches down to achieve and maintain a speed approximately two knots above stall warning deactivation. A really important safety feature on the M600 is the hypoxia recognition system in emergency descent mode. If altitude exceeds 14,900 feet and after a period of inactivity, the pilot is prompted for a response. If no response is detected, the aircraft will descend to 14,000 feet and then, if no response is detected four minutes after that, the aircraft will then descend again to 12,500 feet. 
An important safety feature in the unlikely event occupants become hypoxic at high cruise altitudes. Now bear in mind the oral CAS message systems will populate if the altitude exceeds 10,000 feet prior to any of this ever happening. But just a really good fail-safe system. As we fly back into the terminal area and get to a lower altitude, synthetic vision really starts to come alive on the two PFDs. It definitely gives me as the pilot really good SA on the ground right below me. Now as I approach to a land in an unfamiliar airfield, I'll also have surface watch ready to populate so that when I exit off the runway, I'll know exactly where I am in relationship to the airport. Mike, Mike, runway one two right, clear to land, wind one two zero nine. I don't know, four zero point Mike, Mike, clear to land, one two right. The M600 is truly a sophisticated and capable aircraft with an overall value proposition that's hard to beat. Whenever I fly the aircraft, I'm reminded about how robust the feeling is while still maintaining the docile handling characteristics that Piper is renowned for. Visit Piper.com to inquire more about the M600 or any of our product offerings, or to locate a dealer representative near you. Thanks, take care, and fly safe.